uh, 142, we're going to do problems 12 and 13 together since they have the same uh, initial conditions here. So a couple things I know. I have these two angles, U and V. They both terminate in quadrant 4. I want to know what the cosine is if I add the angles together. Is. And I want to know what the sine is if I subtract the, uh, the angles from each other. So go U minus V. So let's figure out a little bit more here. Um, sine of u, it's in the fourth quadrant. It's negative four fifths. So this must be three. Um, I can get that by Pythagorean theorem. Square root of five squared minus four squared, because that's the hypotenuse. And that'll give me three. Looking at this uh, v, I know that, oh, so that means that then the, uh, the cosine of u would be three fifths. So uh, looking at angle V, also terminates in the fourth quadrant, um, cosine is 5 thirteenths. So this must be a 5. Boy, that was terrible. This must be a 5, and this must be a 13. So I'm going to figure out that distance there. Pythagorean theorem again, uh, square root of 13 squared minus 5 squared. What is that? That's 169 minus uh, 25. Uh, 144. So that makes this a 12. And that magnitude is 12. Uh, but notice it's going down, so it's a negative 12. So that would mean that the sine of V must be negative 12 thirteenths. And now I have all the pieces I need to calculate these. Um, I can split this up using that addition uh, relationship to cosine. So it's cosine in the first one, uh, cosine in the second one, opposite operator. Sine of the first one, sine of the second one. So let's see, cosine of u is 3 fifths. Cosine of v is 5 thirteenths. And that's minus. Sine of u is negative 4 fifths. Sine of v is negative 12 thirteenths. So here I have 15 over uh, 65 minus. A negative times a negative is positive. Uh, 48 over 65. And if I add those together, 15 minus 48 is negative 33. So I have negative 33, 65th. So there's my answer to 12. And then uh, for 13, I'll split it up with uh, using that addition relationship for sine. So it's sine of the first one, sine, sine of the first one, cosine of the second one, same operator. Cosine of the first one, sine of the second one. So sine of u is negative 4 fifths, cosine of v is 5 thirteenths, minus cosine of u, 3 fifths, sine of v, negative 12 thirteenths. Uh, so let's see, this would be negative 20, 60 fifths. And this is going to be end up being plus because it's a negative times a negative. Uh, 36, 60 fifths. And if they add those together, a negative 20 plus 36, that's a 16 65th. And so 13 